What's up guys, it's Endymion, and today I wanted to talk about a concept within the Mass Effect universe that could have incredibly interesting and devastating effects if it was used by the wrong hands. Today, I want to talk about the hollow planet Meridian. Let's begin. Spoilers for the Mass Effect series, obviously. For those who don't know what Meridian is, it's the final level of Mass Effect Andromeda, and it's discovered by Ryder and their crew that the Jardon, the super advanced alien race responsible for creating the Angaras and the Remnants, Meridian is revealed to be, essentially, a Dyson Sphere. So some of you may not know what a Dyson Sphere is, which I will explain now of course. Basically it's a concept created by Freeman Dyson. Dyson was a mathematical physicist who created a theoretical concept way back in 1960, well before I was even born. Anyways, the idea of a Dyson Sphere was that once a civilization had evolved to a point where it had become far too advanced that civilization would need new ways to basically power all their technology and needs in order to grow and expand further into the galaxy. As we know, here on Earth, the most consistent and powerful forms of energy that all humans interact with is, of course, the sun. But the sun is obviously too far away to uber to, and because of this, even though you can feel the power of the sun's heat emanating from it, the full extent of the sun's energy and power is but a fraction of what we as humans can actually feel since the sun is around 29,000 light years away from Earth. So now that I've laid the basics for you, a Dyson Sphere is a concept that a highly advanced civilization could, in theory, build a literal artificial planet that surrounds an entire star. And if that civilization were to build an artificial planet or various stations that orbited the sun or star, that civilization could, in theory, harness the complete energy output of that star to power their civilization and take their technology's capabilities to absolutely ludicrous levels. Meridian is actually revealed to be a Dyson Sphere of sorts, but it's more so moon-sized than, say, Earth-sized. That being said, once Ryder defeats the Archon and the Helios Cluster is saved, the revelations that Meridian is a central hub for the various other planets you've traveled to already starts to expand and cement how important and technologically impressive Meridian is as a whole. Meridian ends up becoming the new home for the human arc, the Hyperion, which crash lands onto Meridian during the final mission, meaning humanity literally trips and falls into a Dyson Sphere capable of controlling entire star systems of planets for colonization. It's wild. But where could Meridian go from here? Obviously, we never got a sequel to Andromeda, but it is subtly confirmed by game director Michael Gamble that Andromeda will have a part to play in the future of the Mass Effect series. Not to mention, in the teaser near the end, you can kind of see the silhouette of an Angaran in front of Liara, so although we can't confirm 100%, it seems anyways that the Andromeda Galaxy has made contact with the Milky Way Galaxy to some extent, which has me wondering if the key to the connection between Andromeda and the Milky Way would lie in none other than Meridian itself. Remember that in theory a Dyson Sphere would be able to harness the raw output of an entire star and allow whatever civilization that controlled it an absolute immense level of energy to perform almost any technological feat we could think of. What if Meridian's technology is the key to bridging the galaxies of the original trilogy and Andromeda? We know that mass relays are capable of transferring ships or entire armies in certain instances across vast distances in a matter of seconds thanks to the use of mass effect fields. I mean, we use them all the time in the trilogy with the Normandy zipping and shooting from system to system like it's nothing. But the distance between the Milky Way galaxy and Andromeda is obviously much, much farther than say, the Sol system and Omega systems in the Milky Way. And we know, so far anyways, that there aren't any mass relays between Andromeda or the Milky Way. But if a certain Pathfinder, who's synthesized with an AI like Sam, 
could harness the power of Meridian, which is connected to the other seed worlds like Elodin or Eos. In theory, of course, Ryder could possibly also gain control and understand how Meridian works, how the Jardon possibly made it, even maybe how to control the architects the massive artificial remnant worms that seem to be created by the Jardon to cultivate and help the seed worlds with their viabilities. Maybe it's because of Meridian that the Andromeda Initiative is able to fast track and create their own mass relay capable of honing in on the coordinates of one of the mass relays way back in the Milky Way galaxy. I mean, we have to assume that the Andromeda Initiative obviously kept signals, locations, and information detailing the locations of any mass relays or gateways into their home galaxy as a just-in-case if things went bad, they could turn back and maybe jump home as a get-out-of-jail-free card scenario. And if Ryder and the Initiative were able to create a Meridian-based mass relay in Andromeda, triangulate it to the Milky Way galaxy, all they would need, in that case, would be a large power source viable enough to power this brand new mass relay so they could jump. The power that a certain Dyson Sphere concept planet like Meridian would have no trouble harnessing and using for that very same reason. Oh, look at me making connections like a crazy person. I mean, that's what I do, I guess. But that's my theory in terms of how the Andromeda and Milky Way galaxies could be connected in the future of Mass Effect. Now I'm gonna go on a little bit of a tangent, but what's even crazier is one of my theories stemming from this original idea is that if the Jardon left Andromeda completely, where did they go? And they clearly made Meridian. So what if the Jardon discovered a star or sun or whatever so incredibly massive in size and power that they created an entirely new and even more improved version of Meridian there and are using that raw power to build their forces in order to return one day to Andromeda as insanely overpowered beings. I mean, Meridian is moon-sized. What if the Jardon made a Meridian Dyson Sphere-like megastructure that was the size of a system, or in their infinite, insane technological marvel, a Dyson Sphere that was capable of harnessing an entire galaxy, or galaxies, what could they do then? Turn back time? Create the ultimate super weapon? Dude, just thinking of concepts this big, it actually gives me anxiety, I'm not even kidding. Like when I think of the sheer vastness and distance between Earth and like the sun, for example, my mind tries to comprehend the distance I actually start to feel scared when I start trying to understand just how large and insanely infinite the universe is. Anyways, I'm getting off track here. That's the video on Meridian and the Mass Relay idea. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like what you've seen and you want to see more, I got plenty of Mass Effect content on the channel. I recommend my The Jardon's Ascension especially. I think that theory video is probably one of my best videos that I've ever made so far. And also I want to point out that there was concept art that got released around the time when they brought out the teaser for the new Mass Effect game. And they showed this like Andromeda initiative looking mass relay being built so like i don't know i feel like that's how they're gonna do it oh and also thank you guys for 1300 subscribers my goal was a thousand for the entire year and it's insane that in seven ish months i've crossed my goal and i'm now closing in on almost eclipsing it by almost another half of that already it's just wild so thank you guys let me know what you want to see in the future i'm in demion and my brain is legitimately rattled thinking of how far the sun or even the Andromeda galaxy is, the universe is scary big man. Just take a second sometime and look outside in the middle of the night in like your backyard or whatever and just take a moment to yourself and understand that as far as you can see from where you're standing is not even a slither of what's really out there. Yikes dude. Alright, now I am properly rattled. I'm gonna stop talking. Please subscribe if you wanna. I'll see you in the next one. Space is scary dude.